Hello, and welcome. I'm Xander, and here we are, inside the Hall of the Dead in Markarth, because we need to talk to Brother Verulis for the uh, quest. Good day, friend. Keep I have need well. of a priest in my travels. You are looking for Arke's protection while you delve some dank tomb, I take it? My duties keep me busy in Markarth. I don't know if I can help you. There would be treasure to share. You know. In the priesthood of Arke, we have a joke about an empty pocket being better than a full grave. Hmm. I'm not really one to intimidate, especially in this case. I want him to kind of come. That's no small amount of coin, friend. I suppose I can come with you for a short venture. Lead on. Alrighty then. Uh, we will go out. Oh. Is that a book? Ooh. Restoration magic. Oh, uh, well, we've leveled. That wasn't quite supposed to happen, but, uh, it did. Uh, what? This place is confusing. Incredibly. Oh, well. Normally, I would sit down at the bonfire, but I don't want to have to fiddle with favorites at the moment, so... We're just going to stop at it for the moment. Apply these. Interesting. Well, I want... Hmm. Ah, speed. Okay. So. Oh, making that mistake again. I'll rectify it by going this way. So I made some tweaks to mostly the shadows the and a couple other miscellaneous things to try and help with the. Uh, I don't know if it'll really solve the little freezy bits much, because that's just the sheer amount of data being loaded in, but. It should help with overall general performance because, like, I I turned the E and B off and checked to see what that was doing, which it literally impacts my frame rate by, like, three, which leads me to believe that whatever is causing any kind of my if issues has to be CPU bound, which it's entirely possible. I mean, I don't really have a bad processor, but it doesn't work as well for gaming as some others. Mostly because of the fact that it's it's an AMD FX8350. Which means it's good for multi-core. It's, you know, good for things like video rendering and whatnot. But when it comes to gaming, if they don't have a really, really good use of multi-core, it tends to fall flat on its face. So, a bit disappointing, really, but me. Oh, I'm pretty sure just crossed a uh, cell buffer line there. Are you a bandit? You're a bandit, aren't you? No? You're running away. You're not trying to kill me. Uh, if I'm right, which I believe I remember... Over this way is the quote-unquote back entrance. Yeah, it should be right here across this bridge, that door there in the side of the hill. Eh, we don't need the horse anymore. I don't know how long it's going to take Sir Slowpoke to get here. When we walk through the door, he should just do what NPCs do and TP over easily enough. Also, I enabled ENB's reflections and turned the value up a bit. I think it actually looks really good in the end. Ooh, shiny. Uh. Yeah, there he is. So we'll go through this door. He should definitely be close enough f 
for this to properly function. Good. See, this is deeply confusing because the door, like, I'm pretty sure the entire dungeon just switches. Thank you, Lisbeth. It's been such a joy to dine with you all these years. We're here. I brought the priest, as you have asked. Who are you? What's going on? Priest of RK. I'm your friend. You're my... friend? Yes, I'm your friend, and I've invited you to dinner. I've been invited to dinner. I'm so hungry. Why don't you lay down and rest while we get the meal ready? I need to lay down. I'll just be a minute. Come with me. Our feast is about to begin. I'm so glad I, I can definitely feel the increased speed on ah, walking. I hear you have quite the appetite. We're about to devour a priest of Arche. The meal is on the nearest table. Go ahead, Carl. So, we need to kill him. He looks so sweet. Go ahead. Have the first bite. Om nom 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 nom. Mortal. I am Namira, the Lady of Decay. Your consumption of the blood and bile of Arke's own is pleasing to me. I give you my ring. Wear it, and when you feast on the flesh of the dead, I will grant you my power. Wallow in your wretchedness, my newest champion. I've never actually clicked the other option. That, and that, and the gold, and that. Yeah, I figured as much. I wouldn't have his amulet because he had already technically given it to me. So that is not unexpected in the slightest. It's an honor, keeper of the ring. So this ring is obviously very strong. That's fifty stamina. So now this brings us up to 168. Pretty ridiculous, actually. I'm running into the door. So that completes that out. So the question is do we do this? I think we shall. shouldn't take too long, I hope. I think it's a quest that mostly takes place inside the city. So there is the, the there is the slight concern though of how it will play out because obviously I've got the whole difficulty thing going on, but maybe it won't m mean a whole lot. I hope. Okay, so... Horse. I hear you. Whoa! Holy crap, I was not expecting a saber cat when I walked out.
Um, okay, I appear to have completely looted the Sabre Cat. Whatever. I'll take it. Who? Oh, it's Mike the Lawyer. And we'll talk to him. Humor the conversation a bit. Where bears? Where? Bears? Men that are bears? <laughs> Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? No, I don't think so. It does not matter to Maik how strong or smart one is. It only matters what one can do. And then I should get one more. Dragons were never gone. They were just invisible. And very, very quiet. <laughs> Alright then. The reason why I didn't pay him is because obviously I've messed with this before so I know what'll happen. And if it was, say, somebody, some other random person out in the wild that wasn't him, I would do it because I would just murderate the crap out of them afterwards. But it's my ache the liar, and I don't want to kill my ache. So, yeah. These little, like, hitches here, I'm not entirely sure what's causing them. I think they might be actually the distant mills and waterfalls, which also might be hurting performance, because I had some slight issues with that before. After me. You are, aren't you? Are you gonna follow me? Okay, follow me up to here, then. I'm fine with receiving your letter, I just don't want to get off the horse without being close enough to the city to be worth it. Okay, what do you want? I've been looking for you. Ah, a letter looks like that's it. Okay, letter from the Yarrow, that's the Yarrow Folk Wreath. I might get rid of all geared up, because that actually looks really good. I don't know, somehow having all that other stuff and like I want to remove a lot of things that are completely screwing with the uh, the scripts and such. I, you know, like all geared up and dual sheath redux because they're just causing weird, weird things to happen that aren't happening normally. And basically things are a little bit better without them. Like, just overall. So I think I might actually get rid of them. And then I also don't think uh, Dual Sheath Redux really works with other things very well. It's just a bit... Uh, those kind of things, they don't seem to be very compatible. If you know what I mean. Do do do, Merkarth. Well, it seems like my load times aren't quite as bad as they used to be, so I'll take that for what it is. Uh, now what was I doing? All oh, right, right. I need to read the note. Actually, before we do this, I want to see something. Can I disable the mod entirely? Disable those. I can disable each one of these individually. I don't know if this will really help, but if it doesn't help, I can always just default them back at some point. And just disable everything because because it's safer that way and dual sheet three ducks can I disable this from within this menu uh, I don't want to exit the game 
just yet. So we'll do that. That should accommodate some of those things, make them less buggy. Meet me at the Shrine of Telos. Where's the Shrine of Telos? I thought this was... Wait, does this have... Do they have two shrines here? Huh. Well, that's a temple of Dabella, and the other one's just a shrine. Oh, now I'm lost. Down this way. Markarth is confusing. Also, for some odd reason, every single time I look over in this direction, it, like, murders my frame rate a bit. I don't know why exactly. Oh well. Shrine of Telos. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running up. Really? An outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. You're an outsider. You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. Mm, you want me to find Such out why? For years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked. Who's behind Wayland and the forsworn? And I'll pay you for any information you bring me. Um, okay. She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silver Blood Inn. Okay. He Who's was one smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Whalen, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. Okay. And... You've looked into yes. these murders? It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines, rare for anyone who was in the Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. Gotten nowhere so far. And then I got buried. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. I see. And get whistled. Don't do that! What? Oh. Oh. I already did it to him whenever he gave me the note, didn't I? That would... That would explain why he just screamed at me, don't do that. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, we'll hold off on that one for now. Hey, guard. Hold on, Gagan. They were still... Huh? <laughs> Can I argue with that? <laughs> Until next time. Oh. How about a septum? Wait, make that two septums. I feel like living it up. Huh? <laughs> he didn't say anything. Finally. Now get lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be an arse. Okay. I just figured the less animation, or not animations, the less scripts there are to screw up, the less likely I'll get bugging out weapons, because it's probably some kind of conflict between animations and the other two mods. There's no shipments coming in, so I do nothing. You a fighting man? How about a little bet? Oh, bet you say? I'm drunk, and it's been a while since I had a good fight. A hundred septums says I can take you. Barehanded. You're on. That's the spirit. Let's go. What does he know that my heavy armor gives me increased unarmed damage? Keep those 
those hands up. I win. Pay me. Wait, I can still fight. No. Fair fight. Here you are. <laughs> Alrighty then. Also, my favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some meat. Because of that. Huh? Whatever you say. I think I'm going to get another <laughs> drink. What can an old skull do for you? Another huh? drink, huh? A porter with arms. Well, hell, you've Something come to nothing. the right place. What? No, that's not what I clicked. All your drinks are watered down. That's about the truth of it. Right tales about the sights I've seen, the battles I've fought. I wasn't aware. Earned quite a name for myself when I was younger. The Bard's College still teaches some of my work to their students. What are you really? Well, whistle, whistle, or a whistle. That's just terrible. I'm so sorry to hear that. No need to get rough. Good fighting to you. Bartender. This is the Silver Blood Inn. Ah, yes. Rented the nicest room we had for a whole. I realize I'm on the wrong and side of the uh, thing here. Bad luck to talk about the dead in Markov. Of course, but I can't just hand that over. Right. You adventuring types would never go into a room just to steal everything. Okay, fine. All right. I don't want any trouble. It's yours. Whistle, whistle, or a whistle. It would seem so. You. Unlike my husband Clever, I watch after our guest. Huh? Nah, I don't think so. Wow, rude. What was I should remind the venomous wife of this place up? Nothing, you pig headed oaf. This is the wrong room. I knew that. I'll just be taking this. Oh, journal. Okay, journal, 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 journal. Meeting at the Treasury House later today. Took them long enough. Those people act like they own everything. Thonar Silverblood is the youngest, or younger brother, but he's obviously the one in charge. Makes all the deals, bullies local landowners into selling to him. Even employs that wispy girl at the door to deter troublemakers like me. General Tullius is gro growing impatient, but I'll bring back the deed to Sidna Mine. On my life, I won't allow a group of Stormcloak sympathizers to own the prison to the most notorious criminals of the Reach. They say no one escaped. Why? Or why? Is it really that secure? Maybe I've played my hand too soon by rushing the confrontation with Thonar. There are shadows around every corner in the city, and I know I'm being watched. Oh. Oh. The plot thickens. Almost as much as me breaking the, uh, the walk and run. Constantly. I already talked to you. I haven't talked to you. My father, Klepper, is the one you want to... Huh? <laughs> You've done well. Of course. Ha! There. Now I can whistle for my horse. Wife, I assume you're going to tell me? So. So. You seen you back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. <laughs> Wilson, this is your last warning, outsider. Keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. No. I'm assuming this is the Warrens? Yes, probably. Huh. 
Okay. What? The Warrens isn't a place for your time. Oh, yes. I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. Trust is hard to come by here. But all right. All right, then. Okay. What? what? Why are you leading me out there? Yes? Perhaps he's in the other side? I'll check all the rooms just in case. No, it's right here. What the hell game? Chest, huh? Leland's note. Wayland, you've been chosen to strike fear in the heart of the Nords. Go to the market tomorrow. You will know what to do. N. N, huh? Find out who N is. I have a feeling bad things are about to happen. You've been digging around where you don't believe. It's time you learned a lesson. You first. Let's go. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Twelve septums on the big one. I am the big one. I'm six feet tall. Yeah, that's broken. Nepos is in charge. That's all I know. Okay, okay, fine. Go back up to the Shrine of Talos, I assume? Maybe not. But where's the other one send me? I wonder. Nepo's house. Excuse me. What's your business here? We haven't been expecting you, and the old man needs his rest. Come back some other time. No. Wait. It's okay, my dear. Send him in. Hmm. Yes, Nepo's. You heard him. Go on. I already did. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now, what is it you want? Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. I'm a bloodhound. I'm a lizard. You've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost twenty years, sending the young to their deaths, all in the name of the Force with them. And I'm tired. So tired. My king, Modernok, when the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. I see. Why are you telling me? My dear boy, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. Oh, but I will. Because I will stop this. He is the King in Rags. A man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city. Directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine. A Nord prison. The irony is quite thick. Mentioned it uprising? Markarth and the Reach are our lands. That is why we are the Forsworn. 
We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. I I'm see. I'm sorry. Oh, shit! Camera, camera, please. Whew. That was a bit hairy. Well, that's one way to get on the other side of the chair. Gold, block pick, nothing else really interesting. Tynan. Silver ring. Key, which I already have. I thought I killed Nepo. Or did he flee? He may have fled. Hmm. That might be Nepo the Nose inside the wall. No, no, that appears to be a salmon. Okay, whatever. We're not going to discuss that. I'm fully expecting a guard or something to be outside here to try and take me away. No? Okay. I guess we'll go see the silver bullets. Uh, I don't want to jump down that. Need something? No. The treasury house. Silver blood. You there. You another Imperial puppet? Answer me. Uh, not quite. I support the Empire. What of it, he says. Your Empire is destroying everything Skyrim stands for. Honor, pride, mighty Talos. You can tell Jarl Igman that the Silver blood family won't tolerate his cowardice for much longer. I'm sorry, Patrick. We own Sidna Mine, best prison in Skyrim, and source of half the wealth in this city. We keep the Reach safe. We flood Markarth with wealth. But does the Yarrow listen to us when we want to say? No. He's busy forgetting that Ulfric Stormcloak saved this city from the Forsworn. Ulfric's a hero, not a damn criminal. No, no, he's most definitely a damn criminal. You just let old Nana know if you need anything. All right, dear. Uh, 
Uh, hmm. I'm gonna lockpick my way through this door. Screw it. What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. What did you expect? That no one was going to notice you butting into business that wasn't yours? The guards know who holds the purse strings in this city, and I don't like snoops. Mark Karth is my city. You have no right looking into my business. Now get out. What? By the gods, Petri! Did I accidentally... I may have accidentally killed somebody who wasn't... Oh, 40 bounty. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pay off the 40 gold. I don't give a shit. Okay, so this raises the question. First of all, how many flasks do I have left? Four. Okay. Where am I? Okay, now I know. No, 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 no. I ran past the bonfire. God, I hate this city. Anyhow, Estes Flasks, four. Okay. Um, I guess I have to go back in there, talk to the guy who I beat the crap out of with my sword. We're not discussing the clipping. We're also not discussing that I accidentally bumped the microphone with my arm. My wife. Damn Madanak. Damn his forsworn backside. Fine. You want to know what the forsworn really are? They're my puppets. I have their king rotting in Sidna Mine. He was supposed to keep them under control. When they're you made a deal crushed, with the forsworn? Brought to me. He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little forsworn rebellion from inside Sidna Mine. Now he's out of control. You want me to you kill him? You got what you wanted, you damn hound. This is your fault. You and Madanak are animals, and I'll see you both rot to death in Sidna Mine for this. Now get out of my house! Fine, jerk. Out of my way, outsider. I will kill you. At least I would if I cared enough. So now, Shrine of Talos, yes? Yes. Okay. Quick saving is a precautionary measure. Because I don't... Actually, I auto-saved coming out of the door because the game auto-saves a lot. Like right there. We warned you, but you had to just go and cause trouble. Now we have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. 
<sighs> we have a nice arrangement in this city, and we're not letting you get in the way. You have a problem with that. Take it up with Madanach. I'm sure the King of Rags and his Forsworn would love to meet. Now you're coming with us. It's a life sentence it's in the mind for you. The question is... Do I kill them? Or do I run? Hmm. The easiest way to deal with things would be to go into the mine. But then it's a question of how do I get out of the mine? Ask right. I'll never see the sun again. You hear me? No one. I will. I will escape Sidna Mine because I can. Heard there were wolves on the road up north. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sidna Mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. No. There's no resting your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. No. You got it. Don't get smart with me. I'm in charge. You keep it up, I'll have your toes cut off. All right. Open her up. Yes. Now you, get down. Give me access to Madanak and his crew. What are you in for, new blood? Violent one, huh? Best keep that to yourself, new blood. <laughs> Others find out, they'll consider that a challenge. My That's advice, fine. Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. A shiv, huh? Small blade. Easy to hide. I mean, sure, you could just swing a pickaxe into someone's face, but people tend to see that coming. Got a problem with a prisoner? Get a shiv. Here Grisvar has a spare, if you could get him to part with it. Eh. All right, then. I agree with plan one, which is pickaxe to the, the face. The new meat. So soft, tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? <laughs> A true killer like you. The gods put us here to fill their halls with souls. You'll fit in fine down here. Guards brought me in about 12 years ago. Was running a good group of bandits. But these forsworn... They're nothing like the men I cobbled together. They're real killers. Hey, you know what? You know something? I probably shouldn't do this. Uh, you serve your time because if I fail to kill him, or I die, I don't know what will happen if I die. Bad things, probably. Prison's not so bad. Just because That's it might break the quest I'm saving. Hey, what? Never should have come here. Yeah. Normally I wouldn't do any savings type stuff, but if I don't do it here, it's going to break the quest. What? Entirely. Murder, banditry, assault, theft, and lollygagging. How old is my daughter? If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. The no one talks to Madinak, I'm afraid. And you don't want to talk to Borko the Beast. Yes, I do. You want to talk to the king in rags? How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one, but it's nice to have one in case I need to do some. Sh the only thing Modernock expects is a buck. Fine. That's what I was hoping. Roll me for it. Come on. Let's see what you made. Get him. Get him. Let me throw. Let him get away with this. It's been so long since I tasted my own blood. What? Until next time. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Well, 
Well, well, look at you. The Nords have turned you into an animal. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? You sound a lot like Mercer Frey. Do I? What about you? What right did you have to meddle in my affairs? Kill my people? Was it worth it? Your troop? You're one of us now, you see. A slave. The boot of the Nord stepping on... So many... If you change your mind, speak to Bray. Tell him I sent you. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. Remember, it was the Nords who locked you up. I'm going to kill him. See? Dead. Wow. That has pathetic damage. Skooma. Read Madanak's note. I promised you all we would escape Sidna Mine together, and I have found a way. If I die before I can show it to you, then search the cells near my room. Use my key. There's a tunnel that leads into the city that you can use. The question is... Where do I find my gear? Hmm. I have a feeling there's spiders or trolls or something down here. Seems like it'd be a place to find them. Hear that? Sounds like spiders. Oh crap, I'm not going to be able to kill this. I'm out. I do not have the resources required to fight these. Do not have resources. Outski. Leaving. Especially considering I have this bad habit of dragging these on, but... Meh. Two quests, one episode, an hour long, almost. What are you to do? I'm gonna be honest, I thought this quest was going to take a shorter amount of time than it has. But... Such is the way of things. Technically, if I really cared about all my gear, I could have just thrown everything into my bottomless box when I knew this was going to happen. Because I did know. My eyes inside sit in the mind tell me that Mad yes. You've done a great service to the Silver Blood family. I've had the Arl officially pardon you and take care of a few other loose ends. And you've proven that was the best move I could have made. Don't give me that look. You're free to go. Here, how about a little token for your end? My family's ring and all the things the guards confiscated from you when you were jailed. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
I have to figure out how we're going to fill our recently emptied mine. I didn't empty the mine. I only killed one of them. Madanak himself. Um, reach a ring of wielding, and I guess we'll keep wearing the amulet of RK. Oh, and the cloak. Kind of funny that I was killing Forsworn while wearing a Forsworn cloak. Oh, hey, convenient. I'm assuming we have no level up. No, we do not, as expected. Okay. Oh, right. Can't save while sitting down. I do kind of hate how it incessantly, you know, nukes all of my hotkeys, but I'm going to call this good for now. We have completed this quest. Oh, actually, we didn't look at his ring. Silverblood family ring. It's a smithing item. Good. Very good. So. Anyhow, I'm going to do this good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.